Well, let's talk more about um, In Living Color. Mm -hmm. um, I would say that that was an incredibly important show. Mm -hmm. I would say that it was in an era where there was quite a bit of um, diversity on television. Mm -hmm. um, and so I could give you all these academic phrases, but mm -hmm. why did you think that show was important outside of employing you? Why did you think that show was important from a larger cultural <laughs> perspective? <laughs> um, well, in Living Color, I would say that show and Arsenio were, to me, the first shows to kind of bring the hip hop culture into television. Um, it was not in advertising at the time, you know, there weren't commercials with that kind of music in it. it hip hop didn't exist on TV outside of Arsenio and Living Color. So it really introduced a whole new culture to television. You know, we had, you know, rappers on the show, we had the Fly Girls dancing a different way, you know. The humor was different than what you saw on Saturday Night Live, you know. There was a whole different energy to it, the clothing, you know. So it was very exciting to be in that show. I remember telling people I was riding on a living color and they'd be, oh my God, you're in a living color? You know? and people were so excited. And it also, it kind of broke, it, you know, it, it broke down racial barriers too. It wasn't just, you know, black people liked it or certain, everybody really loved the show and the energy and the feel that came out of it, you know. So in that sense, television wasn't diverse in the sense that it didn't have that culture in it. You know, it was more diverse in a different way, you know. But, um, but that was exciting to, to be a part of that. To be, I felt very lucky to be a part of that whole movement. Mm. Um, jump forward and ask, sure. talking about In Living Color, talking about the other work you do, we'll talk a little bit about The Daily Show, but on a more general note, why do you think, and I apologize if this is overly academic, but why do you think that comedy is important to intergroup relations? What do you mean by intergroup relations? What I mean by intergroup relations. Like animals and people? Or <laughs> <laughs> what do you No, mean? no, I'm talking purely people. Uh, mm -hmm. Different groups of people. Different. Mm -hmm. uh, why is comedy important to. Uh, breaking down barriers? Breaking down barriers. Well, comedy always has been important to that. I mean, if you look at just the turn of the previous century, a lot of the comedy was what you would call uh, immigrant humor or ethnic humor. Like a lot of comedians did dialect comedy, where even the Marx Brothers, who's a Chico, you know, he did that fake Italian accent, you know, because that's what they did in vaudeville. So a lot of uh, you make people laugh with your accent was the joke. <laughs> but that also kind of disarmed people. There was a lot of Jewish humor, you know, where the Jewish accent was way over the top, you know. A lot of the black humor back then, you know, the a certain what was called black accent was really over the top, you know, and a lot of people did those styles and it was just part of what happened at the day, but a lot of it kind of, you know, allowed people to laugh at themselves and for other people to laugh at it. We look at it now and it looks like a little hard to look at some of it because we're just in a different place right now. But uh, I think humor's always been used to disarm people, help us laugh at ourselves, laugh at... I wish we could laugh at others more now. <laughs> you know, as opposed to just ourselves, but um, <laughs> but that's just my sick sense of humor. You know. But um, I think it's a great way to start conversations, or you know, just have fun. So then, um, most recently, I, I think it was last week, uh, Seinfeld was on some BuzzFeed. Did you see the story? Seinfeld mm -hmm. was on. Okay. Well, I'll give the quote, and you can respond or not. Okay. But uh, Seinfeld was on some BuzzFeed interview and was asked explicitly oh, about comedy, I think about right. comedy and diversity and was asked mm -hmm. and was asked explicitly you know your web series comics in cars getting coffee i believe um is not very diverse it's mostly white men well okay. the coffee is black right <laughs> yeah. coffee, but, so, you have to give credit where credit is due you know. <laughs> uh, see no one mentions that that's true right. that's true <laughs> Uh, so I'll just read you the quote, um, okay. but I really kind of want to get at the idea, your idea of why diversity in comedy is important. Um, so the quote is, it really pisses me off when asked. Uh -huh. uh, people think that comedy is the census or something. It's got to represent the actual pie chart of America. Who cares? Mm -hmm. So my question to you is, do you feel that uh, comedy needs a wide representation of voices and what that wide representation of voices means for understanding each other? Well, there's, there's a couple of issues going on there, and it's hard when they all get convoluted into the same issue. You know, like for instance, 
Jerry Seinfeld was never a political comic, and he was never a cultural comic. He, you know, in fact, his show, he admit, was about nothing, you know, <laughs> right? So, you know, his stand-up was about, you know, what happened to the missing sock? You look in the drawer and there's a sock gone. Why is it just one sock? I don't know. Where's the sock now? All of a sudden, my sock appears. I mean, that's what he did. And I mean, it's still funny. We laugh at it. But it's funny because it, it, it doesn't engage us in anything that is, you know, going to challenge us about that. That's Jerry's humor. He's not the guy to talk about diversity, <laughs> you know. That's not where he starts from. That's not his point of view, you know. So I understand where he's coming from in that. He's just thinking, you know, funny is funny, I think is his answer in that, you know. So um, I think he's, from my, and I'm not sure about this, my take is that he's probably really thrown by that question because it's not a question he's really an expert on. You know, he doesn't, you know, that's not his field, I guess, you know. His field is insignificant things, you know. That's a little too significant, right? <laughs> For him to be doing that series and think, how can I make this important would be the l last thing that Jerry Seinfeld's gonna be thinking about, you know. And that's just my opinion on it. But um, as far as diversity, I think we do have a lot of diverse voices in comedy now. You know, there's um, people all over the place doing things. But um, where you get into problems are like when you get into network depictions of things. You know, if you're just talking about stand-ups, you know, all kinds of people are doing stand-up comedy. But when you get into who's actually producing television shows and what are they choosing to do, that's when you get into issues that are more important, I think, than what Jerry Seinfeld's doing on the internet, personally. <laughs>